Good evening, LA 108ers. I am uh, talking to you from my cabin out in the woods in Mendocino. And um, before I give you your encouraging words about your midterm grades this evening, I want to show you the totally cool tattoo that I just got down in Honduras on the island of Roatan. Okay, you guys ready? Here it comes. That's the uh, the main character of a book I'm working on. It's a raven named White Tuft. And uh, we combined old Celtic and Scandinavian motifs with um, the um, Haida, the indigenous far North American vision of the uh, raven spirit. So got that beauty. All right, now I've warmed you up and let's have a serious conversation about midterm grades and more profoundly why your success in this class may matter a lot more than you think. So four reasons. The first reason that your success in this class matters is because you are training yourself to be successful. Successful people are gritty. They don't give up. And if you create an excuse for yourself about, oh, I'm failing, well, that's okay. I'll take it again. Do you see how you're beginning to give yourself that as a possibility in life? Oh, it's okay. I'm just going to fail. I'll make it up later. But successful people don't operate that way. Successful people give everything they've got to complete the tasks that they are facing, the challenges that come up in their lives. It's a do or die situation because they know that every bit of traction they put into this moment is going to add up in the future. Now, In the big scheme of things, this class may not matter that much, but in the big scheme of things of how you are training yourself to tackle the challenges in your life, and there are going to be many, and they are going to be really big when you become an artist, right now is a crucial time for you. You are training yourself to succeed, to confront obstacles and overcome them. Now, does this mean that successful people don't fail? Of course, they experience failure. In fact, their failures can often be pretty big. But hey, at least they're more interesting and they gave it their absolute best before they went down in flames. Okay, so that's the first reason why you want to succeed in this class. The second reason is more economical. You're paying for this. Education is expensive. Someone is going to end up paying for this down the road. It may be yourself, it may be your parents, but you do not want to accrue a debt from your education. Now, I believe in education very deeply because I grew up on the streets in California. I lived in group homes, shelters, juvenile halls, foster homes, you name it. I came up dirt poor. And my main path to financial success was through education. So I believe in it. I still believe in it 20 or 30 years later. And if you want to take a moment and contemplate what it will mean for you if you end up working a minimum wage job because you did not complete your degree or get some kind of college degree, Think about what your life is going to be like. If that doesn't put the fear of God into you, I don't know what will. Okay? It's important you complete this financially as well. This is going to matter to you, your future, and your family. Family presently and family to come. Okay? Um, another reason. Something to consider. 
yes, you may say my talents are elsewhere. You know, I, I you know I can beat the system. I've kind of done it before. Maybe I don't need to learn how to read and write that well. Okay, maybe it could be, but statistically, and most of us fall within a statistical range in most things, whether we like it or not, your capacity to read accurately, in depth, and with engagement, and to write in the same kind of way is going to make a real difference in your career. This is about laying foundations for you for the, the next decades of your work, okay? There's finally a fourth reason, and that is what education is really about. It's pointing the way to opening up your mind so that you can appreciate some of the greatest treasures that our culture has to offer. You don't want to go through life without being able to like, well, I don't know, read Shakespeare um, or just get completely immersed in a fantastic book or do some really good writing or be able to do like awesome research where you're able to go super in depth into something and come out with information that empowers your life in ways that really make a difference. So, yes, there is a final reason. It's cultural. You want to be a cultured human being. This is an opportunity to start cultivating that. I encourage you to go for it. Now, those are the four reasons. At this point in this semester, even if you're running a D or an F, you can recoup the class. It's not lost. But what it means is you're going to need to turn over a new leaf and start truly engaging with the class. I've already posted what the basic requirements are. I will simply emphasize that full and complete participation in discussion topics goes a long way to success in this class. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you folks all have a wonderful evening or day or whatever time you may be checking in with this. Okay, bye.